Have you ever wondered why you engage in certain transport activities and not in others? Or why, for instance, you take the bus to attend a pop concert, whereas you do most of your trip by car? Well, in this module, I will explain you about the concept of transport resistance factors. Transport resistance factors are all the forces, such as travel time, travel cost and discomfort, that we need to overcome to reach our activity destination. The higher these transport resistance factors, the lower the amount of transport. The opposite is also true. If transport resistance factors are very low, then even the less important trips will also be made. My name is Tom Brees. I'm full professor in transportation sciences at the Transportation Research Institute of Hasselt University. My field of expertise is road safety and human factors. Transport resistance factors such as travel time, travel cost and discomfort play a key role in the activity and travel decisions we make every day. Whether it's the choice of which activities to carry out or which transport mode or route to choose, they all depend on our personal assessment of the benefits compared to the costs or discomfort for each of them. Transport resistance factors are therefore omnipresent in the tree market model. Let me give you an example. Suppose you would like to attend the performance of your favorite music artist in a concert hall located some distance away from your home location. Your decision whether or not to buy tickets will partially depend on the assessment of the efforts you need to make to reach your destination. For instance, maybe access to the concert hall by public access is poor, so that you need to travel by car to reach your destination and spend a lot of time in heavy traffic and finding a suitable parking spot then only you will be willing to sacrifice all the lost time, money and effort in traffic when the benefits of attending the concert are high enough for you. To finish this module, you will need to show that you understand the concepts of transport resistance factors, constant time and money budgets, and time and price elasticities in transport. You will apply what you have learned to an individual assignment that is explained in more detail in one of the other instructional videos. So, are you excited to learn more about transport resistance factors? Then I wish you all the best in completing this module. <laughs>